Lauren, uh, welcome back. Uh, big fight coming up here, Misha Tate. Supposed to happen a couple times before, and, and here we are. Um, so how antsy are you to, to, to finally have it happen? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty antsy to get in there. I feel really good, though. Um, I think it was rescheduled twice, so third time's a charm. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You're already finding some luck. I saw on your Instagram you, uh, you're finding a, you for, found a four-leaf clover. I'm very lucky. It yeah, wasn't like some true. sort of uh, little... No, we were walking through Central Park and there was a clover patch and I was like, oh, check it out. Let's see if we can find a four-leaf clover. And I bent down and there it was. Yeah, some good luck after some bad luck. Uh, talk to me about your experience of, of, of why the fight was delayed. You came out and said you, you, had, you tested positive for COVID. Um, were you symptomatic? Was this like an instance where it really interrupted your training? Um, can you just talk about that? Yeah, it, I mean, I was bummed about it at first, but... Um, I did get COVID and I did have symptoms. I actually got pretty sick for a couple days and um, uh, I started feeling better before fight week, but I was still testing positive um, after when fight week for 276 would have started. And you know, like when I fought Valentina, um, I was sick when I fought Valentina and um, I just never, I never should have showed up to that fight against her in that condition and there's been so many times since that fight that I have just wished so badly I could go back and do it over and it it really kind of felt like the universe was giving me a chance to kind of do that situation right you know there's just been so many times I had wanted to and I was like okay this is my opportunity to you know show show the universe and show myself that I've learned those lessons and I'm going to live those lessons and I'm not going to show up half dead to a fight ever again. And just with you know cuz obviously that was a few weeks ago and here you are was there any thought of of like stepping away from this matchup altogether because your training was interrupted or was it uh, you know not that that long it wasn't significant enough where you felt the need to do that? No, well, we, did, we took it kind of day by day. So it was like when I first tested positive I was like we'll see how it goes. Um, we kind of put a deadline on it, like, okay, if you don't feel like 100% fantastic by this date, then we're going to ask the UFC to, you know, move that fight. Um, and then if I had continued to be symptomatic or if I had continued to not feel like 100%, then we, we would have talked about either delaying the matchup even more or, you know, doing something else. But it, fortunately, uh, it, didn't, it didn't have to come to that. So... Um, we just took it kind of day by day, and um, I had ample time to recover, and now I feel great. Yeah, and talk to me about the matchup with Misha. Um, you know, why did you, why do you like it so much? Why do you feel like it's a good fight for you? Oh, because she's a former champion and a UFC legend and a superstar. And when I go out there and I beat her and I have a phenomenal performance, uh, I'm going to show everybody what I learned from my last fight and how much I've grown and that I'm a contender in this division and that, you know, that was just my first title shot, but it's not going to be my last. Um, I'm excited to go show that, you know, you can knock me down, but you're never going to keep me down um, and that I'm always going to come back better. So, yeah, there's a lot of good things coming out of this, coming out of this weekend for sure. Yeah, and it's been, uh, you know, 10 months since that fight against Valentina. So what did you learn in that period? Was, is, is, that, is that a good thing to come off a title fight loss and have that long wait, do you feel like, in retrospect? Maybe you were able to, to really zone in on what, to, what you could improve on? Oh, my gosh, yeah. I learned so much from that fight. Um, I changed camps. I changed a lot on my team. Um, and that's been really a lot of fun to experience going to a new camp. Um, I learned a lot about confidence too. You know, like uh, it was clear to me after that fight that I need more confidence and I had always derived confidence like from my coaches and from the people around me and from my team and kind of relied on them to give me confidence and I learned that confidence comes from myself. It comes from within. And that was a really big game changer. And also, like we, sh we saw with the um, COVID situation, I learned that, you know, I, like I thought that showing up to the fight was the most important thing. Just get to the fight. Just get to the fight. Don't miss your chance. And that's not true. That was a big mistake. The most important thing is to be able to perform. And um, I owe it to myself, and I owe it to the fans, and I owe it to the UFC to go in there and have good performances. And unfortunately, when I fought Valentina, um, physically, I was not in a place where I could compete at all, much less at my best. And um, it was a very poor, poor performance. And I learned that you don't show up to fights that, like, you don't show up to fights unable to compete. The, the most important thing is the performance. The most important thing is my health. 
You know, the most, that's the most important thing. Getting to the fight, if you have those two things in line, getting to the fight is no problem. Do you wish you, that you had uh, withdraw, withdrawn from that fight? Yes, I should, ha I should have withdrawn from that fight. Um, I, should have I should not have been in the octagon that night. I should not have been in the hotel that week. I should not have been in the PI with other athletes that week. Um, yeah, I wish 100% that I had with withdrawn from that fight. And I heard you say, you know, it wouldn't, it's not going to be your last title fight. So how do you get back there? Uh, everybody's talking about if Misha beats you, that she's going to be next in line. How, what, what do you think the road is for you to get back to, to Valentina a second time? Um, I think the road is just making sure that I'm out there having good performances and I'm pulling the trigger and I'm being violent and I'm having fun and, um, you know, fighting the way that I've been training for the last, like, six months, you know. Um, I think that when I have a really great performance over Misha and I get this win, then I should be in line for a contendership fight. Lauren, what exactly was wrong when you fought Valentina? Was it just a virus or what, what exactly made you sick? No, if you're able to share, sorry. I, I am now, thank you. Um, we kind of kept it under wraps for a long time because I actually didn't understand what was going on for a long time. Um, I can, about four weeks before we fought, before I fought Valentina, I contracted a bacterial infection in my intestine and um, it's called, the bacteria is called Clostridium difficile, but the infection is called C. diff. And um, I didn't know what it was. I didn't have any experience with it. But like, like you guys or anybody watching this interview, if you have like a nurse or a doctor, or somebody that works in a hospital setting, you can ask them about C. diff, and they will know what it is. Um, but I didn't know what it was, and so I relied on my team to really walk me through that, like through that process. I mean, this is a team that I'd had for years. These are guys that had advised me in all matters pertaining to my health for the last five fights. And so, unfortunately, um, I was not advised correctly on what C. diff was or how to treat it. And um, I was told like, oh, you could just take some probiotics, that'll fix it. You don't need to take antibiotics until after the fight. Um, you'll be, you know, you'll be fine, let's do this. And of course I was like, okay, let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's fight, I don't wanna miss my chance, you know? Um, and uh, you know, that, <laughs> that is not the right advice. Um, when I showed up to fight week, I was very, very weak. I was, dr I was very drained mentally and physically. Um, I was not myself. I was in no shape to be competing. And um, I just kept telling myself, you're going to get through this. You can do this. But I really wasn't. And it was very dangerous for me to be competing. C. diff actually kills like half a million people a year. And... Um, there was a chance that I could have gone into sepsis. Um, I mean, it, and not only did it put me at risk, but it put, the, it put Valentina at risk. It put athletes that shared the hotel with us that week at risk. It put the other athletes that were in the PI with us that week at risk. And that's absolutely not okay. And if I had known that, I would not have come because like, it's one thing to say, okay, I'll get through this and I'll put my health at risk to fight. It is something else to put other people's health at risk. And that's absolutely not okay. And that's why I say it was important for me to not come with COVID and like put other people's health at risk. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's absolutely not okay. And um, I did not understand that. I didn't know any of that until after the fight, I started, I got very ill. I got very, very ill. And um, I took a course of antibiotics and they didn't work. Um, C. diff is very, very hard to get rid of. Um, I had to go on antibiotics for two months. I lost almost 20 pounds. Um, I became like lactose intolerant. I became gluten intolerant. There's a whole list of foods now um, that I can't eat. Um, and if you guys know anything about me, you know I love to eat. So <laughs> that was like a hard thing to go through. But I, I always like joke with my friends now. I'm like, oh, there's like 12 things I can eat now, you know. And if I go outside of that, I get very ill. I mean, it'll knock me down for days. I get super sick. Um, I got unbelievably sick with C. diff. And um, luckily, um, somewhere in that process, um, I met a woman named Lisa Reagan, who uh, she has experience with it. You know, I think that the team that I was working with did not understand it and they didn't know what to do. 
and um, Lisa does, and she's incredible. She's she's an exercise endocrinologist and a clinical dietitian, and she's worked with some extremely high-level, world-class athletes. And so, I'm very, very lucky that um, she agreed to work with me, and she walked me through the process of getting weaned off of those antibiotics. Um, she walked me through the process of how to stay rid of C. diff, which is not easy. Um, she uh, did and is still walking me through the process of healing my intestines. I mean, my gut was infected. For, I was walking around for like four months with untreated C. diff. That's insane. And um, she's really, really helped me. And, and because of that, because she's helped me uh, with my diet and lifestyle changes so much, like now I feel like a different person. I mean, you guys could probably see it like in my interviews and just the way that if you go back and look at my interviews from 266, I can tell by looking that I look sick. And now I just, like I, feel, I, I am, I'm much leaner, I'm stronger, I'm faster, um, I'm more present, I'm much happier, like, and, and it's all changes that Lisa helped me with, and the team that she has around her, guys like Brian McKenzie and um, Dave A. Black, and just other really high-level coaches. It's, it was one of the worst things I think I've ever been through, but it really actually turned into one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Like working with her has been a game changer for my career. And so, like one more time, that's just how lucky I am. <laughs> so awesome, thank you. Yeah. So Misha is like a trendsetter in women's MMA. You were on the season of the Ultimate Fighter that she coached and whatnot. Has this been a fight that you've thought about since maybe that time or your whole career was Misha a girl who was on your radar? Uh, so it's, it's always, I think, every fighter's dream to fight somebody like Misha because she's a former champion and she's a superstar. She wasn't actually an official coach when I was on the Ultimate Fighter, but she did come in and like work with us and visit us. and. Um, um, she's always been really good to me throughout my career. Like the Ultimate Fighter was um, a hard learning experience for me, but she actually really helped me through that experience. And um, we've always kept in touch, and and um, I respect her very, very much. So it is a dream to fight her. I think you always want to fight the biggest names that you can and the toughest fights that you can get. And to test myself against somebody like her, it's a dream come true. It's going to be an incredible weekend. <laughs>